Hey guys, it's Andy! Ready for more good FNAF merchandise? Today we're taking a look at some of the new McFarlane construction sets based off of FNAF 2. Once again, McFarlane sent me these sets to review for you guys. Let's start with Toy Freddy in the party room. This is more of a medium-sized set with 110 pieces. Let's decorate! Holy cow, this set looks fantastic! Tons of party decorations, presents, party hats. This set looks super cool. I love the nasty beat up lower wall and textured floors. Like in previous sets, we got more mini posters that are straight out of the game. I really love this set. Now let's take a look at Toy Freddy. Right off the bat, something looks really off. Oh. Right off the bat, he looks super cute and cuddly. He probably looks so cute because McFarlane really emphasized that bow tie. His eyebrows are really strange looking though. They're really high up on his head. I'm not sure why that is, since the picture on the box makes him look just fine. They also forgot to give him the lighter color under his torso, although I think lots of people don't even realize he has that. For some reason, he has an endoskeleton hand. Don't believe me? It's strange, the other toys have them too. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it. I really do like this figure though. I'm glad Toy Freddy wasn't skipped. Heaven Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica, he was really necessary, and he looks great! Now for a set I was really looking forward to! Er, uh, almost always known as Shadow Bonnie. That name comes from FNAF World, and I'm pretty sure nobody actually calls him that. But it is interesting that McFarlane put it on the box. Anyway, let's look at this set. Our figure comes with the office door, which right off the bat is strange since Shadow Bonnie only ever appears on the left corner, never in the doorway. I know that McFarlane wouldn't want to make a corner of the office set, but still, they should have just made the full blown office set that came with this guy. Who wouldn't want a FNAF 2 office set? All that aside though, the set looks quite nice. It's not super accurate, but it's close enough. I really like the background that goes off into the hallway. It looks really nice. Now let's take a look at the best part of this set. Our figure, Shadow Bonnie. I adore this figure. It'd be really hard to mess up this figure since it's so simple, I admit. But I think McFarlane did amazingly with him. He actually has all his teeth. McFarlane didn't take the easy route there and repaint Toy Bonnie. He has such a cute and spooky face. This has got to be my most favorite figure so far. Don't forget to wind up that music box with this next set, the prize corner, and the puppet. The prize corner looks pretty much perfect, giving us more plushies and an opening present box the puppet can come out of. This is a really great set. All of these FNAF 2 sets so far just look awesome. Now let's check out the puppet. This is a very interesting figure. His legs are built of individual pieces, so he's striped. It also makes him taller than the other figures. His face is really, really accurate. I wasn't expecting him to look this darn good. You can also give him a longer neck than how he came, making him look even more accurate. I really like this figure. This is just a great set. Now it's time for the big set, the game area, with Mangle and Balloon Boy. Now this set looks absolutely awesome. Tons of decorations, two figures, a merry-go-round which can actually spin. How cool is that? The little seats even go up and down as it spins. This has got to be one of my most favorite sets. It just looks fantastic. Now let's take a look at the figures that came with this awesome set. First up, Balloon Boy. He seems relatively well done, but actually, he's the worst one I've seen. He can barely stand on his own, and his eyes are too small. But the worst thing about him is all the colors they messed up. They give him black hair, a blue propeller, tan shoes, yellow and orange striped balloon rather than yellow and red. And he also doesn't have stripes on his back. I'm pretty disappointed with this one. Hopefully Mangle is better. Yeah, I don't know about that. First of all, she was given green eyes. Since when does Mangle have green eyes? And the Endo's eye is on the wrong side. How does that even make sense? And does this even look like Endo? To me, it really doesn't. Also, see this hand? That hand was supposed to be the other way around, like on the box. But the way the pieces were built, you can't have it that way or else her leg falls off. Also, she can't stand on her own either. Aside from that, I really do appreciate the fact that she was built like Mangle. And she has a lot of the smaller details. Even this piece on her head. I didn't even know Mangle had that. All in all though, I am really happy with the FNAF 2 sets. I really enjoyed building them and playing with them, and all the figures look quite nice. 
But anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I have another McFarlane video being made as we speak, so look forward to that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome night. Goodbye!